Okay, here we go, guys. Live from the Yarra Valley, we have our fantastic directors here. And hang on, what? There's my picture. Right there. Oh, yeah, we are. Let me start again. <laughs> Live from the Yarra Valley, we have our fantastic directorship team here, and we are going to share with you desserts. Now, have a look at this fantastic kitchen. I am sure all of you would love to have this kitchen in your um, homes, and we're going to have fun here today. Well, first up, uh, there's going to be some specials. There's going to be some ways for you to earn some um, product for free uh, or win some product for free. We've got some fantastic mega packs as well that you can get um, as a hostess for half price or as a guest at a great discount, featuring some of the products we're using in our dessert demo tonight. And of course, there's going to be some opportunities for you to win brand new free product uh, if you're interested in joining the company as well. So let's get started. Now, who's up here? I think we've got Kelly. Come on over here, guys. Let's give uh, Kelly a... Uh... All right, let's not blow the place up here. Oh, <laughs> All right, awesome. Kelly, what are you doing today? Come on up a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to do a apple crisp today. Um, so we've got some Granny Smith apples that are nicely sliced up. I'm going to pop them on to cook and then we'll come back and I'll make the crumble to go on top. So um, using that apple pie spice and our welcome to the say oh. So strawberry almond, stra strawberry apricot and blood orange balsamic vinegar. Excellent. Now tell me a little bit about the apple pie. What else can you do with it? Oh, um, family favourite in our smoothies at home. My kids actually love it with crushed apples and will dip. They feel really fancy with their top, um, toothpicks chopped up and just dipping into the dry. Wow, apple. that's fantastic. Um, it is one of my favourite on oatmeal oh. in the morning. Absolutely. With some raisins or crown raisins. Um, and, uh, um, you know, a great, it's a little bit of, well, I, don't even, I don't even find that I don't need brown sugar when I'm using um, the apple pie spice because it, what it's got is um, a cardamom, which is a really light citrusy um, spice, of course, with the, the great cinnamon in it. But I find that the cardamom gives us this real sweet taste without being sweet and without having the um, sugar in it. Excellent. So what are we going to do next? So um, straight into the pot to um, put the water and then they're just going to stir slowly. Oh, Trish, I still think that this is too much water. Well, we'll see how it is at the end. Yay! <laughs> disaster chef, you know, we'll pull your eyes it so it's going to taste good no matter how disastrous it turns out. Awesome. Awesome. So I'm going to turn that up just a little bit more. All right. So this is a quick way um, to do it. So you're going to get your apples to um, soften a lot quicker <laughs> than just putting it in a pan. Um, there we go. All right, um, what, we're going to wait for you Yes. come back yes, to you yes, later. Yes. All right, who's next? Over to Gina. <laughs> Gina, Hello. what recipe are you doing today? Okay, I'm doing some really amazing spiced pancakes. Now, in Australia, we're going to call them pie clips because that's what my kids love to eat, so they like the little ones. So this is a really, really easy recipe. It's just a cup of um, self-raising flour, and to that we're just putting in a tablespoon of our sugar some butter, about a tablespoon of butter into there as well. And a bit of a throw everything in with this one, two eggs, so it's been lightly whisked up. And tonight I'm actually using our gingerbread spice. So this is one of our brand new releases, so our new release products. So take a tablespoon, uh, sorry, a teaspoon of that. I like a good bit of flavour into these, they are spiced pancakes. Now you can either use the brand new one, the gingerbread spice, or if you have only got the apple pie spice or the pumpkin pie spice, you can use this one as well. So these all work really, really well in the spiced pancakes. Um, so yeah, just pop all that in. Then your buttermilk, so a cup and a half of buttermilk. Just going to add half of that first. Give that a nice little whisk in. And there's no, like, there's no hard and fast way to do this. It's just throw it all in, blend it all up nicely. Okay. And I'm going to make a really nice um, lemon spiced butter to go with these over the top. So because I'm not a, a chef by any means, I'm a home cook with my kids. I like making the little ones, but we still stack them. So, and then you pour your spiced butter over the top of that. And into the spiced butter, which I'll show you afterwards, that's just 
bubbling away on the stove there. We're going to put some of the spiced, um, the, the gingerbread spice into that as well, and the butter and grated lemon rind. And just pour it over the pancakes. So I like to give the pancakes a really good whisk to make sure they're nice and fluffy. The buttermilk really helps with that. But any of our spices work. I was even thinking possibly the, um, the powdered honeys would work really well mm -hmm. too. And just giving yeah, a certain twist, would, cinnamon be twist yeah. would be perfect. And you could even sprinkle that over the top once you've had your lovely syrup mm -hmm. put over as well. So um, on to someone else because you're going to come back and see All me right, cooking next month. <laughs> I think we're over to Trish now. Let's go over and see what Trish is up to. Okay. We're going to do something that's a little bit healthy. Um, this is ricotta cheese that's already been um, whipped up. So we'll get our fruit ready first. And we're going to put one of our vinegars. We've got a lot of different types of vinegars. So make your own up. Pick a favourite. You've got to have a little bit of it because it's really yummy. So that now you use maple balsamic. Yes, that's one of our new ones. I'm just going to mix that up and let that sit for a little bit. And in this, we're just going to put some cheese and chocolate. So, again, pick a favourite, but we want sweet. <laughs> Excellent. Now, you could use, like you said, you could use anything there. If you were doing the maple balsamic, you could use the salted maple in there. Um, the burgundy truffle would be fantastic in there as well. Um, awesome. So you just mix this up. So this is mix that up like that. And um, we're going to put them into the glasses. Sorry, it's taking a little bit to mix up. Yum, I can smell it from here. What a rich chocolate. <laughs> Great. Now you're making a, like a parfait? Yes. Oh, okay. So we're going to put uh, fruit at the bottom. I'm going to keep mixing until you get up. That would be great. So we've got strawberries. Look, everyone, I'm cooking. Blueberries. <laughs> <laughs> Raspberries. All right. Okay. There we go. Thank you. I just want to stick my finger in there, you know that? And this is just a tub of ricotta, so obviously if you're making more, you want to get some. So it had a little bit of a tart um, finish to it as well with that sweet. Yeah, nice. And then we just pop some more fruit on top mm. and dessert is done. Well, I know there's a few people in the room that their favorite would be OMG with that. Uh, but as Trish said, you could use pretty much any one of our vinegars and create um, a quick and easy, healthy, um, or more healthy, maybe not completely healthy, but more healthy uh, uh, parfait. So yum, um, dibs on that one at the end. All right. All right, who's next? Ali. This is, I know what, we have to do a bit of an intro to everyone as well. So we'll come back to you guys. <laughs> Um, so Ali, you are from New South Wales. Yes. What about Hunter Valley? Beautiful area. Come on up a little bit closer. <laughs> um, what are you making today? This is really exciting. This is the ingredients I'm using. You cannot get simpler than this dessert that I'm going to show you. I didn't make the ice cream. We're cheating on that one. But um, a lot of people love to, their kids having um, ice magic on their dessert, so on their ice cream. This Which is, I think, in the U.S. called crackle or something like that, where you pour it on and it basically um, hardens and um, has a wonderful little crackle to the top. So I remember that in the 80s, I think that came out. Does that make sense? 80s or 70s uh, when that first came out. Now, what I always worry about when you see the crackle and they see the ice magic is all the numbers. If you look at ingredients and all of these things, you know, first of all, it's not cheap to, to, um, to buy necessarily when you look at the quantity, but it's what's all, what's in it. So when you get to be able to make your own um, crackle or ice magic at home, it's pretty cool. And guess what? It's not just plain chocolate. You can add any one of our products to it and get the um, chocolate. All right, go ahead and show us how. So what I'm using is coconut oil. This is just an organic coconut oil. These are on the shelves in your supermarket now. So you can just pick them up at any local supermarket. 
Use the coconut because it's giving you that sweet taste as well. It's going to work with the dessert. So all you need to do, I'm only making a little bit up, like you make as little or as much as you like, depending on how much your kids love ice magic. Or this going isn't going to work with all oils. No, because it, the coconut oil, you can see, in it's pretty warm in here. We've got a lot of people in here. We've got stoves on. It's not um, cold out, or not. It's it's warm outside. It's like 25 degrees outside, 30 degrees um, Celsius. So you need to have an oil that um, is solid still at a fairly, um, uh, you know, fairly warm temperature in order for this to work. So all I'm doing with this, because it has set solid in the jar, I'm just zapping it for you know, 10 or 20 seconds in the microwave to soften it up and bring it back to that liquid form. If the microwave cooperates. So generally about 20 seconds, but all you need to do is this, once it softens and it's pure liquid, um, I haven't used any measurements with this because you're just doing equal parts of the coconut oil, equal parts of chocolate powder. So I've just used the dessert spoon of the coconut oil. There you go. And you can see that's liquid now. And there's so many health benefits to coconut oil. I love this. You're not giving your kids junk. You're giving them, you know, our natural uh, powders without all of the junk in them and you're just getting the pure organic unrefined coconut oil. It doesn't get better than that. Can you smell that? <sighs> I've just taken the lid off the dark mint mm, chocolate. The, beautiful. The flavor is divine. If you haven't got it yet, you're going to love it. So a nice big heat teaspoon in there. All you're doing is stirring it around. Mixing it all up. I'm going to go a little bit more because it's not not quite thickening enough. You can see there it's starting to thicken a little in the cup. And then all I'm going to do is scoop out the ice cream. I love this. This is so cool, everyone. You're going to just think this is amazing. And so are is your family going to love this one. Give it a good stir around. This may be a little hot, I think. So I might just grab the one that we tested out earlier. I may have zapped it a little too long. You can see that, how it's solidified in there once it's already been mixed. And this has gone back to room temperature, so it's going to work better for us. And all you do is your ice cream, drizzle it on, and you can see it's starting to work its way over the ice cream. The temperature of the ice cream is going to come into effect and it's going to set hard and it's rock hard. You can crack it and hear the, hear the echo. Um, the other thing you can do is I'll just grab some hookah. Now you can see it, look at the change in the color. Probably a little bit late for adding jukka on top of it, but um, you could definitely do it. Yeah, on the, you can uh, see the colors change there, so yeah. it's set. Here's a spoon. You can hear that. Beautiful. And oh, if you wanted to, while it was still wet, you'd just sprinkle some dukkha on as well. So that's set as part of it. I love it, love it, love it. It's going to be a new favorite of my house. Fantastic. Thank you, Ali. All right, who's next? Oh, Naomi. Excellent. Let's come on over and talk to Naomi Ingram. From where are you from, Naomi? From Miranda. From Miranda. <laughs> Her from WA. Yeah. Most, most people's <laughs> language. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is um, my little version of an after dinner mint. Yeah, the Aya style, of course. Again, using our lovely dark mint chocolate. And here's a bottle I forgot to open earlier. <laughs> All right, so what this calls for is um, scales work, is that all good? Obviously, here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> Not so much. All right, so we need 400 grams of your yeah, icing sugar. I always like to use the pure icing sugar because um, the other stuff is just not good. And sifting that out. Well, we want smell a vision. 
Oh, it smells amazing in here. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome actually at the moment. Managed to get this somehow. <laughs> Gonna have to do the other piece in a minute. That's oh, the fun stuff. Sifting away. Here, do you want me to do that and get the rest of the stuff off? Sure, that'd be great. Yeah, I'm cooking again. Cooking again. <laughs> this is fun. All right, so what are we doing? We're doing. So here's another part I prepared earlier. Oh. So pretty much I've got a packet of, or well, half a packet of white chocolate melts. Um, melted them in the microwave and popped it in a little slice tray in the fridge to set. And that's what our mint is going to go on. So your traditional after dinner mint has got a dark chocolate with white in the middle. Of course I like to mix that up a little bit so ours is going to be brown on the middle and white on the outside. So this is like um, those after eight mints that you can buy. You don't have after eight mints here, but. No, we call them after dinner mints, but same, okay. same. Oh. You need me to do that? Yeah, <laughs> I'm done. You're done. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> the next thing. All right, so to our icing sugar that we're sifting away, very, very well over here, building some muscles. We're going to add two tablespoons of our dark mint chocolate. Mmm. You add it to this. Yeah. I better hurry up here. Yes, you do. <laughs> That's all right. I've got a couple of other things to add while you're doing that. All right. Cool. So we're going to build. Two tablespoons of oh, bring it back over here. Back the chocolate. Right. <laughs> All right, I got more energy. Smell here. vision. Okay. All right, now I'm lost because I'm just thinking smell of vision. All right, we're going to add two tablespoons of milk and one of a vegetable oil just to help. Sorry, yeah, it's hard to hard to <laughs> sift when you're sniffing. Well, this is a, a fun um, sifter. I'll tell you that. <laughs> It's one I use with my kids all the time. Um, so with this, if you didn't particularly want a mint, you could actually use it in any other, um, any of our other flavors, like a chopped raspberry one would actually be really, really nice. Orange, the top orange, chili chop, that would mm. be interesting too. Yeah. So you could do it with a dark chocolate around the outside, um, if you like, would be really quite yummy. You know what, chop orange and chili chop. In the oh, different layers. No, different layers. Ooh, that would work too. Or some of our new ones. All right. Um, what would you do? Salted maple. Well, the salted maple would be really good. You could add a touch of salt to your I just chop. No, I'm just gonna. It's making me really happy here. It is, isn't it? It's like your new best friend. Sorry, I'm in the way. Can I push this down? Sure, that would be fun. I can't wait to eat this. this one? I think we're doing we're doing um, laps tomorrow. We right. will definitely. Is it going to matter this last little bit? I'm just keep it. All right, next. Okay. All right. So while well, Colleen is stirring, <laughs> stirring away, we get last little bit in there. In that last little bit in, we're just going to stir it all. All right, that's not to make it. like a thick paste, which is just the fun bit, because it doesn't stir wonderfully well. That's not the cleanest of desserts to make, obviously. So just stir this, and we're going to pop this in the microwave for two or three minutes, just a minute at a time, until we get a nice, really smooth consistency. Um, if you don't do it for quite long enough, it gets a bit grainy was the feedback from my family when they were guinea pigs so for this. So it's almost like making a, a bit of a fudge. Almost. Topping, yeah. yeah. Or a really thick icing. Mm -hmm. All right. So do you want us to um, move so on you to can, the next one while yep. you do your That's fat layer? All right. Probably fantastic. Okay. If we just stop here for a second, we'll do the crumble bit. So the apples are all cooked. Um, so we've got the oats in there, the butter and brown sugar. So I'm just going to mix that up with a little bit of the country baked apple pie spice. Thank you. So my 
to do that this way first. So just a tiny bit through the crumble there. So I'm going to um, rub that through with my hands. But before I start that, I'm actually Ooh. going to add a twist. Yes, yep, no normal um, apple crumble here or apple crisp. I'm actually going to add strawberry, apricot and blood orange through the apples. That is going to be packed full of gorgeous flavour. Yep. And so then just rubbing. Oh, that is a bit softer than I'm normally used to, but that's all right. This is a job I normally pass on to my children. They like to get their fingers all nice and gooey and feel helpful. Probably going to have to make a little bit more for the tray before, before yep. I pop it in the oven, but we're just going to then pat it on top of the apples. So I'm going to work away at this and then get it in the oven so that it's all ready in about 20 minutes. Excellent. That's breakfast tomorrow, eh, ladies? Perfect. <laughs> I love apple crisp or apple crumble in the morning for breakfast. All right, Kelly, we'll come back to you. Excellent. So these are my pancakes. Now these are um, just beautifully browning now. The What I didn't show you before was the um, apple. So there's um, chopped up apple that you sprinkle in on top. It falls into the mixture. So the apple has actually got the, the cinnamon, um, sorry, the, uh, the gingerbread spice mixed into it. So I've actually just, to make it a bit faster, thrown it all into the batter. So you can see the apple actually mixed in through the batter now. So you can do that as well, or you can do it how I did it with the first few and just sprinkle the apple in on top. Um, so these are ready to come out. So the finished result is stacking it up beautifully like this. It's such a fun dessert, um, sorry breakfast even, um, but a dessert, but great for the kids. I'll just show you the, um, the sauce. So this is the spiced lemon sauce. Mm. So in there, I'm just going to give that a little bit of a mix up now. We've got the butter that's been melted down, this, the gingerbread spice, and um, two teaspoons of lemon rind. And that is just a luscious... There's no beautiful. sugar? No sugar in this mm -hmm. one. This is just going to be the spice. So that's right. what you taste. Because there's enough sugar that's going to mm -hmm. be in those pancakes. Mm -hmm. So it's as simple as just drizzling that over the top. Let Yum. that run down. And just give it that lovely, luscious, golden-y flavour. And top it off with some lovely fresh blueberries. <laughs> which aren't going to stay on the plate. Really. <laughs> <All right. laughs> they were supposed to do the uh, rehearsed little, we'll put it in a round. There you go. That looks lovely. But how nice does that look for breakfast? You can give it a little dollop of yogurt, um, mm. which is what I'm going to grab out in a minute, some beautiful Greek style yogurt. And again, that maple, um, cinnamon, our powder, you can mix that through that in the yogurt. Uh, uh, look, they're just salivating. <laughs> you would think we hadn't had dinner yeah. or something. Oh my goodness, I am like, yay. Yep. Awesome. Thank you, Gina. I'm just going to get our special, so hang on before we go on to the next one. I want to tell you all about our first pack. So, our first mega dessert pack is the Rose White Chocolate Dukkha the rose sugar, and the burgundy chocolate truffle, regularly $47.85, only $39.95. So that is the first mega pack. The second mega dessert pack is chalk almond dukkha, chalk peanut butter, which is the Buckeye classic, it's an Ohio classic, and the gingerbread spice that Gina used as well. And that one is regular $47.85, you can get it for only $39.95. And hostesses can get these for half price as their hostess benefits as well. The third mega pack is Chalk Raspberry Truffle, Black Forest Dukkha, our number one seller of all of our products, OMG, or um, Blood Orange Guava Mango Vinegar, Balsamic Vinegar. It's regular $54.85, only for $44.95. Now, one more pack, the Apple Pie Cinnamon Twist and Chai Sugar Pack. And it is regularly $38.85, and it's only $32.95. Well, we also have some ways to win some free product. Now, we're doing something a little different here at the um, Mega Dessert um, demo. You need to go to our Facebook page, which is Your Inspiration at Home dash Home Office. So you need to go to our Facebook page, 
And in order to be in the draw for one of 10 giveaways of new product, um, you need to hashtag Fave Yaya Recipe. Hashtag F-A-V-E-Y-I-A-H R-E-C-I-P-E. And then tell us which one of these recipes you've heard today is your favorite. And we will draw 10 people who um, go to our Facebook page and uh, you can win some free product. And I'll tell you a little bit about how you can get some more free product when you join your, your inspiration at home um, today as well. Okay, so let's head on over to who's next? Melissa. Melissa Roberts from Perth again. So this evening I'm going to be making a chocolate raspberry truffle ice creamy type slice thing. I haven't really got a, a name for it, but it's really, really yummy. And all I've done is I prepared my little treat earlier and I put some malt biscuits on the bottom, as you can see there. And then in here I've taken some thickened cream, mm -hmm. about 300 ml, and a can of condensed milk. Ooh, that's And I've mixed it together and whipped it up until it's created lots. You can see the little peaks that are formed on the top there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of that chocolate powder and I'm going to put just a couple of tablespoons in there. Some good yeah. heaping tablespoons. We like lots, lots of flavor. Of <laughs> lots of chocolates. Don't think about that. Now this is the chocolate raspberry. That's Excellent. That's correct. Yeah. And then I'm just going to stir that through. And so now there's lots of different ways that you can actually do this slice. Another way, today I'm going to do it with the raspberry truffle and uh, the black forest dukkha sprinkled over the top of it. But another way is as well with the uh, chocolate orange, the chocolate orange one. And then you can get jaffers. I cheat with jaffers. Um, and just smash those up in a bag and sprinkle those over the top oh, as well. Yum. They're really, really, really yummy. So once I've stirred all of this through, I'm going to put it on top of the biscuits. And then it's going to sprinkle the dukkha on the top. And then I'm going to put it in the freezer to set. And it sets like ice cream. And it's really, really, really yummy. Cool. Now I'll translate for those of you tuning in from Canada or the U.S. Jaffas are little chocolates with orange flavor in them. We're absolutely, or chocolate on the outside and orange on the inside, correct? Other way around. Orange on the outside and chocolate on the inside. There we go. So smashed up, it's kind of like a smarty, but a big smarty, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then what Melissa's talking about biscuits, they're actually a cookie. All right, so they're not a biscuit like a cracker, they're a cookie on the bottom here. So you can pretty much line your pan with any type of um, cookie on the bottom, correct? Yes. Awesome. And so that's all I've needed to do. And then, like I said, I've just put some in, the, in here. I've, I made the mistake when I've um, used the dukkha at home and I've poured the whole lot on top of the slice. So <laughs> and it doesn't spread, spread well, well though. That's <laughs> correct. It's a bit difficult with the chunks once you um, get it on there to spread it around. So right. just And this is the, the, um, the black forest dukkha. Black forest dukkha, fantastic. And then I just pop that into the, um, whoa, there we go, there's a nice big piece of fruit there. Um, put it into the freezer and it'll set overnight. And then you'll have a nice, yummy, like an ice cream cake. Yes, correct. Awesome, <laughs> wonderful. Love it. For those of you who are still in the summer months, maybe not in the U.S., but the summer months here, um, this would be a great one to do and prepare ahead of time for a picnic or um, party. This is fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Who are we off to see next? We're back to Naomi. Excellent. Now, where have we got to, Naomi? All right. So what I've got is I've got our lovely mixture that Colleen so wonderfully helped me with. It's all nice and chocolatey. I've just let it cool for just a couple of minutes so it doesn't completely melt our, our chocolate. <laughs> and then we're just pouring it in. You know, you're going to hear my stomach start growling very shortly. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, there may be some left in the pan that you can just oh, you I might have, have a little, little taste. taste. All right. Yeah, it's going to be about You know, chocolate and mint is one of my favorite, favorite combinations. Me too. Although, you know what my next favorite combination is? is chocolate and peanut butter, chocolate oh. and red wine, um, well, chocolate and orange. You can actually do this with the, the new Buckeye as well and oh. do that, that and maybe even add the peanuts into the chocolate when you're making the top layer and the bottom layer, which would be just fabulous. Mm. All right, so we've kind of spread that out a little bit haphazardly, but that's yep. fine. 
Um, and I'm just going to melt some more chocolate, let that sit for just a little while. It needs to cool off a little and set a little. And then we're going to put another layer of melted white chocolate on the top Yum. and pop it in the fridge just to let it set a little bit. The chocolate on the outside just stops your fingers sinking completely into that <laughs> gooey centre, which is just a bit yummy. Awesome. So, we'll come back to you in a minute. All right. You might have to just taste it on your way past. So you can that. Thanks, Naomi. All right, who's next? Maria. Maria, fantastic. One of our new directors in qualification. And Maria, where are you from? Um, I'm originally from Wagga, but now I live up in Queensland in Ipswich. So, yeah. Great. And what are you making for us today? Uh, today I'm Look making our that. chocolate ripple cake. So, I've just prepared um, some uh, whipped cream and chocolate raspberry chocolate powder. So, 500 gra um, grams of cream, a tablespoon of vanilla sugar and two tablespoons of our chocolate raspberry chocolate powder. Get that into some good light there. Oh, yum. Are you sorry I can't put my finger in it? Yeah. <laughs> so you just whip that till um, it forms stiff heat. So don't over whip it, don't under whip it. It just needs to be just right. Um, and I've just pre-done some stacks here. But all you do, just to make your face, you just put a couple of dollops of the cream. And spread that along. Now this just helps hold the biscuits together. And then just to make your stack, you just put your biscuit with about a teaspoon um, of the mixture between, and then a biscuit on top. All right, awesome. And that, I, so it's like making a sandwich. Yeah, yep. And you've got the chocolate biscuit and just the whipped cream between. Awesome. All right, and now what? And now. Now you just um, put the biscuit between. Awesome. Look at that. I'll hold it here. Sorry, I'm in the way. Look how wonderful that looks. Sorry, I'll get some more, some of that, what it, like brickling. <laughs> Perfect. So you just make your stack and then you just cover it just again. Oh, so you're gonna remainder. basically ice it with the with the um, whipped cream. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So then we just cover that. And just how easy is that? So you just cover that completely. All right. We'll let you cover that and come back. Yeah. All right. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Who's next? That is Narelle. Excellent. Come on over, Nora, or to Narelle. I think I got me paints. I'll grab those. Okay. Mm. Fresh roasted coffee beans. And which ones have you used? You've used the uh, I've uh, used the mocha spice. Right. So there's a little bits of the um, beautiful um, cinnamon chips. Yes. And I will have to thank my beautiful consultant, Amy Keegan, for this recipe because um, she introduced me to the chocolate coated um, coffee beans and absolutely wonderful. It's something that I have brought um, from shops but many, many times but never, never thought to actually make them myself. Um, and with the introduction of our coffee beans, um, she's come up with this wonderful, wonderful recipe. So we've just melted um, some uh, dark chocolate. Um, we've just used Cadbury's dark chocolate milk in that. And we're going to introduce, um, I know Amy did the dark chocolate mint, but I am going to introduce the burgundy truffle in this because <laughs> okay. All right, let's hear the story. <laughs> let's hear the story. Don't mess with my red wine. But this is absolutely amazing. Is um, Colleen's Burgundy Truffle Powder, and it is absolutely fantastic. So to um, the milk chocolate, we're going to mix in some Burgundy Truffle Powder which is a beautiful combination of red wine and um, dark chocolate. And, and a little bit of milk chocolate in there as well. And, and I don't know if anybody out there in TV land has tasted that yet, but you get that beautiful, rich, smooth uh, milk chocolate 
you get a little bit of the um, bitter dark chocolate, and then you get this tart red wine through it, and it is just fantastic. And yeah, as I said, don't mess with my red wine, but oh my god, this <laughs> is amazing! Can't wait for you all to try it. So we just did um, the mocha spice coffee beans. We've roasted them about 10 minutes in the oven, and we're going to pour them into this, uh, to the and milk chocolate. What that does when you um, uh, give them 10 minutes baking is you can watch this. You can see normally you're, you're not really easy to just crack a uh, coffee bean apart. So what that does is it just makes it just a little bit more crumbly, a little bit softer, well, not softer, but um, more brittle coffee beans so that when you bite into it, um, you're not breaking a tooth. It's really nice and, and, and crumbs. And now the slotter spoon. <laughs> We've had a lot of trouble with the slotter spoon today, but we finally got it. So just shake it about there and just shake them, shake them, shake them and put them on and separate them onto the, the plate and I'm going to put that there and once they cool you just sprinkle them with a little bit more chocolate powder so that they separate mm. and then just roll them about so that you get the nice separated coffee beans in them I wish you hadn't shown me how to make this, Narelle. Well, this is Amy's fault. <laughs> this is Amy. Yeah, as I said, it's a fault. Like, these are just absolutely amazing. Like, I can't wait for you to try them. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So just our chalk um, black rose dukkha, mm -hmm. but you could also use our chalk almond or pretty much any of our dukkhas just to and let's put decorate this in the, the light so you can have a really good seat back. All right, go ahead. Do you want to sprinkle some more dukkha on there? So you can also um, just top it with some extra fresh berries. Um, even just top it with, um, you can also use like cherry ripe, anything like that. So you just sprinkle it pretty much. Now it does need to go into the fridge for about six hours just to set so it's really good to make in the morning for a night and it? what i love about this it's already ready to slice yeah because it's you know you're going to slice it along the cookie grain so you've got basically servings um ready for like a kid's birthday party fantastic all right so we're going to pop this in the fridge come on <laughs> excellent and then we're going to go over to um annette all right, we're going to introduce another um, one of our directors in qualification. Annette, where are you from? I'm from Melbourne, about 20 minutes down the road. 20 minutes down the road, beautiful area. We can't wait to do some touring tomorrow um, to the vineyards. It's mm -hmm. going to be a gorgeous day, I'm told, and we're going to have some fun um, learning all about how to make champagne, I understand. Right. <laughs> so what are you making today? I'm going to make a chia chocolate pudding. So it's really, really healthy. You can actually double it up as a breakfast, maybe with a dollop of Greek yogurt and a bit of fruit for kids for mm -hmm. breakfast. Also a really, really healthy dessert. Excellent. Chia seeds are amazing. They're, they are you fantastic. know, They're hard to find sometimes because they're selling out all the time. But um, excellent. Those are um, dark, black, black, black chia seeds. All right. And... Um, all right, what else are we putting in it? So we've got some um, some raspberry chocolate truffle and I've been lazy and measured them all in advance. And I've got some vanilla sugar, two tablespoons of the chocolate raspberry truffle, two teaspoons of vanilla sugar and two cups of full milk. And I'm just gonna pour that in there. 
I haven't made this before. My 10-year-old usually makes this one. So it's a really, really easy one for the kids. And we've got to stir this. It'll take a minute or two till the chocolate powder and the sugar dissolve mm -hmm. and breaks through. This is the fun bit. And the kids love it too. The chia, what the chia seeds do is they actually work as a thickening agent. So oh, really? As long as you stir it every 15, 20 minutes, give it a couple of hours and it will be set and it will be fantastic. So it's a good one if the kids get home from school. So they can help cook dinner by making the dessert. And you could probably double or halve the recipe. So that's pretty well mixed. I've got half a cup of chia seeds here. And all I'm going to do is just stir them in. And you just mix it until they're all wet. What a, what a fantastic recipe. I love the fact that it is healthy. And you don't put it in the fridge until it's almost set. You've got to come back every 15 minutes or so. Just mm -hmm. leave your whisk in it. Come back and just stir it clean up a big clump of chia and it um, and it separates through. It's a bit like if anyone can remember tapioca from when, mm -hmm. when you were a kid. Mm -hmm. It comes to a tapioca to wow. a consistency. So it's really, really great. That is really cool. And, and so it's just like a pudding. It's just like a pudding. Um, pop it in the fridge when it's set. It'll last probably a couple doesn't last more than about two days in my house. And as I said, serve it with some beautiful sweet Greek yogurt, ice cream if you want to, a little bit of fruit on the top, and you've got a really, really healthy dessert that the kids absolutely love. As I said, mine have it for breakfast. Awesome. Fantastic. Um, I can't wait to try that tomorrow. We'll post pictures of all the finished uh, products so that you can have a really good idea of what the end product looks like if it weren't if it wasn't quite baked in there. So I think we've got... Um, where is Naomi? Did we see that Naomi's finished product? All right, we've lost Naomi. Well, this is a chance for me to go, hey, oh, did we finish your product? Um, I topped a bit the chocolate that's just setting a little bit. Yeah. Oh, wait, can you show us? Sure. So you just melted some more chocolate? Just melted some more chocolate and yeah. basically put it on the top. Wow. And then we're just going to refrigerate it until it's set. All right, now will it refrigerate in time to have pictures of it or? It may very well. I'm just putting it in the freezer to All right. just try and cool it down pretty quickly without cracking the whole top. Okay, cool. So we'll see how we go. Awesome. All right, looks like Kelly's come out of the stove or the oven with her apple crisp. Apple crisp. Go ahead and put it right on the bench. It's not going to be a problem. Yep. There we go. All done. Oh, that looks fantastic. Girls, there's breakfast. So beautiful with some natural Greek yogurt for breakfast, or ice cream of course, or thickened cream with some, or I uh, yeah, couldn't help but put lemon myrtle white chocolate powder with the cream mm. for desserts. Nice, excellent. Again, a really healthy choice, um, getting the fiber, the, you know, the, the fruit, um, and of course um, the great spices in there as well. All right, so before I go back to the next person, um, let's go back over the dessert specials. The mega dessert, uh, number one, the rose white chocolate dukkah, the rose sugar, burgundy chocolate, brand new product there, and that is regular $47.85 for $39.95. Then we've got the chalk almond dukkah, the chalk peanut butter, um, which is the Buckeye classic, and the gingerbread spice, regular $47.85, for $39.95. Then we have the chalk raspberry truffle, the black forest dukkah, and the OMG, regular $54.85 for $44.95. And finally, the apple pie, cinnamon twist, and chai sugar, regular $38.85 for $32.95. Now, I've gone through, I'm going to go uh, remind you how you can register at your inspiration at home home office and win one of 10 new one of 10 uh, pro, uh, prizes of new product and how you go is you go to our facebook page and um you go to our facebook page and you hashtag fave yaya recipe and then put your favorite yaya recipe after the hashtag and we will do a draw after the um mega dessert party then also we are going to have an opportunity for you to win some free product and uh, when you join. So when you join today on top of the fantastic anniversary 
uh, special that we have. And I think, what day is it now? Day three. So what's the kit price? $64. We started at $60. Yesterday was $62. Today is $64 for the business kit. And how much for the exec kit? $134 for our executive kit. Now, these are outstanding values. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you were ever considering joining Your Inspiration at Home, one of the very fastest growing party plan direct sales companies in Australia, and of course now launched in the U.S., now is the right time to do so. All right, so all you have to do is go to Your Inspiration at Home Home Office Facebook page and hashtag joining Yaya and put your name on there and we will draw five free product offer um free product gifts uh after the event today so i look forward to seeing the hashtag joining yaya and your name and we'll put you into the draw all right now who are we finishing up with or is not quite finished all right okay where are we at the cookie beans you've got to one. Oh, i know but i'm all right Mmm, fantastic. Girls, this is how we're going to get through training the rest of the night, is these chocolate um, beans. Those are fantastic, Narelle. I love, love, love that recipe. Okay, is there anybody else? We've got it all. We're done early today. Well, I really hope that you've enjoyed these fantastic recipes and all the work that the, um, the directors have done uh, to get all of these recipes here, to go shopping earlier today, to bring it all up to the Yarra Valley. And I would love each one of the directors to come up again and introduce themselves um, so that you can see some of the great leaders of your inspiration at home. So we'll start with Narelle, come on over here. <laughs> all right, Narelle. <laughs> Hi, I'm Narelle Campbell from the Central Coast, New South Wales. I have a fantastic organisation of um, ladies all over Australia and some in America. And um, yeah, just really, really um, happy to be here and um, to show you the, the new products and the, the old products as well and um, to be a part of this amazing opportunity. Uh, so uh, it's a real honour. Thank you. Thank you. And Narelle, just, you know, she's not going to toot her own horn, but she was, uh, what trophies did you take out last year in our um, convention? You won um, Top in Sales. Top in Sales. Um, top in Sponsoring. Top in Sponsoring. Yeah. <laughs> um, and just urges me on to, to do that again this year. Yeah. Excellent. Wonderful. Plan to be number one this year, too. <laughs> awesome. You've heard it there, ladies. You've got some competition. All right, Kelly, come on over. Hi, so I'm Kelly Saunderson from the, or well, Noosa on the Sunshine Coast. Um, and you're a executive? Executive Platinum Director with the company. Um, looking at promoting a few more directors, so heading to the top with Infinity Director by the end of the year. Beautiful. Awesome. Thank you very much. All right, who's next? Come on over. All right, Gina, come on over here. <laughs> Don't drop me. <laughs> Hello, um, I'm Gina. I'm from Gympie in Queensland. Um, Kelly is actually my sponsor and um, I'm a platinum director in the business and I have a team all over Australia and in the States and very soon Canada as well coming online. Um, I love, love, love this company and the spices that you create are just, they just explode people's lives. It's amazing. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so yeah, thank you. All right. Come on, Naomi. Hi, I'm Naomi Ingram. I'm from Perth in Western Australia. I'm an Executive Platinum Director with Your Inspiration at Home. The lovely Melissa Roberts, who you'll meet in a minute, is my sponsor. Um, and and who's, your, who's your Platinum Director? And I have the lovely Narelle Campbell, who's a Platinum Director of mine. Um, and we have an amazing organisation. It's spanning across the countries now, men, women, all sorts. We've got families who want to join, which is great, um, and hoping to expand into New Zealand and get a few people in Canada as well along the way. So, wonderful. Thank you very much. much. Awesome. Melissa? Hi, everybody. I'm Melissa Roberts from Perth in Western Australia. I'm Infinity Director with Your Inspiration at Home, and can I just say I'm really, really happy to be here with this amazing group of 
women today, sharing cooking in the kitchen together has been lots and lots of fun. So thank you for the opportunity. You're welcome. And it is one of our famous, favorite, favorite ways to bond, whether it's boot camp, whether it's at your demos, um, or if it's at director's retreat, or sometimes even on our incentive trip, we get to cook together as well. And we call that the global gourmet experience. All right, thank you. Thank you. Trish. <laughs> Hi, I'm Trish Winner. I'm from Perth um, in Western Australia, and I'm a platinum director. Um, and you have team everywhere. I have. <laughs> I have. I have a team in Australia, in the States, and the UK, in um, Canada as well. So very exciting. Very Excellent. Very exciting. And this is from um, a woman who was only going to join to sell to friends and family. So, you know, it's one of those classic stories of I'm only going to do this to sell to friends and family. So if that's you sitting in a lounge room or living room in, in the U.S., and you think, well, I don't want to have all the pressure of building a really big business or, you know, I want to work alongside my friends, my, my family and lifestyle. Um, Trish is an, a, a, a classic example of what you can do when you decide, you know what, maybe I'm going to give this opportunity a go. So well done. Thank you. <clears throat> all right, Ali Brown. Hello, Ali Brown from the Hunter Valley in New South Wales, um, Platinum Director, and live streaming tonight from the Yarra Valley. So I've just exchanged one for the other. So I'm going to have to do quite a bit of taste testing and right. compare the different terroirs and that sort of thing. And I'm up for that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a few of us up for that one. All right. Well, thank you, Ali. All right, Annette. Hi, I'm Annette Preston. I'm from just down the road to Yarra Valley. Um, I'm a director in qualification with Pure Inspiration at Home. I love this company because I've made some of the best friends. Um, it's always fun. And you know what's blown me away tonight is that we've made nine desserts in under an hour. What other products can you do that and feel that healthy? Beautiful. Thank you for that. All right, I think we've got Maria. Maria, come on over here, Maria. She thought she was going to get out of it. <laughs> Never. And Maria, um, you know, we said you're from Wagga, yep. and yeah, also Ipswich in Queensland. Yep. And um, go ahead, introduce yourself. Yeah. So I started with the company in December 2011. So just some um, two and a little bit years. Um, so I'm a director in qualifications, and I also started as a social network worker. So just selling to family and friends. So I love the journey that I've had. So yeah. Excellent. And you're a chef as well. Yeah. And <laughs> you have what? What? What's What's the big uh, uh, um, event in your life recently coming up? Oh, I, I have a, a daughter. Mm -hmm. um, she's six months old now, and I have a little three-year-old boy at home. So this is really gorgeous to work around them as well. So and I have a wedding coming up in September. So my income is actually paying for my wedding. So. Beautiful. I love to hear those stories. <laughs> Thank you, Maria. Thank you. All right, well, that wraps up today's uh, dessert demo. I hope that you found some scrumptious ideas. Uh, we will post those recipes later tonight. They will go in our back office, and we will put them on Facebook as well. Um, so we'd love to see you hashtagging joining Yaya and hashtagging um, fave Yaya recipe with the one, the recipe that you want to nominate as the, your favorite recipe tonight. So good luck, everyone. Enjoy your um, uh, recipes. Enjoy the party if you're at a, at a demo right now. Enjoy the party. And uh, we look forward to seeing some of you again on tomorrow when we do um, different recipes. So you can definitely join us for both uh, today and tomorrow, and you'll learn a lot more as well. So thanks, everyone, and bye for now.